like to introduce our speaker number one, Anesha, who will be speaking on depression and suicide detection. Awareness. Awareness, thank you. Um, or so you can otherwise entitled Breaking the Stigma of Depression and Suicide. Okay. This is speech number four for Anesha. Good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters and one guest, I guess. I've been very nervous to speak about the extent of the depression I can go into. However, in light of Robin, Robin Williams' suicide, I feel compelled to break the stigma and the shame of, of depression. Having grown up this uh, abusive childhood and daily bullying in school, I remember being, I feel dealing with depression as long as I can remember. Internalizing the abuse at home, being young and not knowing better, I believed that my peers only called me ugly, smelly, and weird. At 13, I, was, I remember spending the entire summer in my room thinking I was so ugly to go outside. My mom didn't notice because she was too busy with her abusive husband. Teachers never took notice of my depression because I got straight A's, and I guess that's, that was enough for them. I also never learned how to make friends because my mom never had the money to, to put me into extracurricular activities like I wanted, and children were not allowed over my house because their parents were afraid of the abuse that my stepfathers would have at home. Therefore, I spent my 20s and low self-esteem and dealing with depression. Like a scared, unsocialized dog, I stumbled through life. But the funny thing is, even though I was, I was dealing with depression, I had the same, same bias as most of society. I thought, depression is all, is all situational. Think positive. Do, you know, be active. Tough it out. Get through it. You, can, you don't need medication. You don't need help. And, and actually, I did. I mean, I, I, I got myself out of depression a lot. I finally got involved with outdoor physical activities, which brought me lots of joy. However, after my brain damage, everything changed. My post-brain damage suicide is nothing like my brain pre-brain damage suicide. Not suicide, excuse me, depression. I found out that there is such a thing as clinical depression. I'll briefly say, I cannot go to that whole story. If you want to know my story, go to twistedjourneys.org. It will take about 30 minutes plus to talk about it. I'll briefly say, I went to Indonesia to dive in the non touristic place. They gave me a carbon monoxide poison tank. I don't remember the dive, but I remember my brain dying. And they left me to die as part of their culture. And the story goes on to much more horrible things. And from this, I developed the progressive Parkinson's and dystonia, which led to PTSD and depression. I found out that depression is not negative thinking. Depression is devoid of feeling. When you're depressed, you want to feel something. Being depressed is like being a zombie, or even getting out of bed is a monumental task. In my case, my depression is very organic and, but, and situational. I'm the only person in America from, that has no dopamine receptors from this brain death. But part of my brain died that causes Parkinson's and movement disorder called dystonia, which is progressive and depression. So what positive have I gained from depression? Believe it or not, depression can have a positive side. At my worst points, I feel closest to divine. I finally know what it is to, have, to mean that, that all there is is God. I've also, instead of externalizing all my goals into doing, being top, climbing the mountain the fastest, seeing every beautiful 
scenery I could see and get to wherever I wanted to go. My new goals are to, help, to reduce others' suffering and to raise awareness and to become a motivational speaker. This may sound crazy, however, I just had a great experience. I met this guy who not only has depression like I, not only has brain damage like I do, but has concomitant, con concomitant, <laughs> dystonia and PTSD. He actually went online and admitted that he has periods of wanting to commit to, of dying, yet he is a motivational speaker. I realized I don't have to be completely healed to be a motivational speaker. I just have to trust in my inner knowledge and my ability to share my, my gifts to the world. No who is truly ever fully healed. How come some people with depression commit suicide? I believe that some people with depression get so bad that they may just lose their minds. This may have been the case with Robin Williams, although I, that's, a, that's a hypothesis. I end up, end up the time Robin, Robin Williams was suicide, I, I, all I could think about was wanting to die. The triggers were, I was hit by a car in my wheelchair. I was not hurt, but it brought back my PTSD from last year when I was thrown off my mobility scooter. I had an other concussion, which increased my pain and my dystonia on my right side, and I've been judged by some people for, for my actions since then, which also is not very good. And also, my right foot, I just had this, I had this surgery on my left foot, due to dystonia, which is a movement disorder I could talk about some other time, caused severe contractures on my left foot. I haven't walked in two years. I got reconstructive surgery, and even though I knew my left, right foot has been getting worse in the, over the past year, I just ignored it, ignored it thought, again, think positive, it'll go away, and don't worry about it, until it, 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 it got to a point where it, it started twisting and turning and curling, even without me doing anything at all, which is actually one of the reasons I couldn't come here to do one of my speeches. As soon as I was about to leave, I fell into convulsion. Now I was happy in the last of the time. And most recently, when I started, was walking as my walker, my right foot curled so bad that I couldn't walk at all. So of course, a normal person has PTSD with this. And other people, I think, other people, and I actually, uh, let me backtrack, actually, so when I found out Robert Williams had committed suicide, I, I thought, here's a man who has all the money to make his quality of life the best, millions of people who love him, funny, and he was diagnosed with Parkinson's, and he wants to die, he killed himself, how am I supposed to handle my life? Yet again, it's something inside me, there's just something I hold on to, this hope, this I get, maybe it's my spirituality, maybe it's my motivation, my, my personality. And I think some people also commit suicide because they just see no way out. Depression can be so, it feels like such a heavy burden, heavy weight on top of you that you feel you may never get out from it. And sometimes that seems like the only escape. Having said all this, I don't think suicide is an act of cowardice. I think it is a symptom, much like a fever is a symptom of the flu. Remember, the depressed person is paralyzed and ashamed to call people or reach out, not want to appear weak or to depress other people as well or negative. So if you know somebody with depression, bring over a movie, take him or her out. Or just simply sit with the person. You may just save a life. Thank you.